So this job is was located in Beverly Hills. We were brought into this project by a general contractor by the name of Tyler Development. And uh, the designer that we worked with on this project was Linda Murray and uh, McLean Design Group. This project was unique because the space in the ceiling height was about 180 inches. And at the top of the wine cellar is a, a skywalk or it's a glass ceiling. And so up above it, you're in the kitchen and you're walking on top of the wine cellar. So you can be down from the kitchen into the wine cellar. The space itself was 168 inches wide about 40 and three quarter inches deep. Uh, what we ended up utilizing is white oak with a, it was a custom gray stain, a custom ladder. The bottle capacity is about 1100 bottles and they're all on black metal eggs. And then you also have, you know, case storage or bulk storage beneath. You have a uh, angled display, bottle display beneath the uh, drawers there. And then b below that, more, more case storage or bulk storage. And um, the ladder, the rolling ladder goes across the room. And you have a dual pane glass front, custom metal uh, enclosure of the front there that has a uh, weather stripping threshold which helps retain the cold air for a refrigerated environment. The challenging part of, uh, about this project was we had to build everything in place. It wasn't to where, it wasn't like we could build this as cabinets because the way that the ceiling and the glass ceiling were were located in the space, you know, everything had to be cladded with wood. And so it looks like it's cabinetry, but it's not. We're actually building to the actual room, which which was pretty cool. So the part that is, I would say, cabinets is the lowers, the two rows like of cases those were built at our shop everything else we had to panel and build to the wall you can see how the panels like there in the corner if you look at it it looks like you know there's some type of dead space or something behind that which there is but we had to we had to build these boxes in in the corner to make it look like it was an actual cabinet and and go all the way up to the ceiling there that then hits the cladded ceiling which is supposed to be the top of the cabinet but it's not it's the actual ceiling cooling systems in this space. Like I said, I believe it was an RM 10,003E. We did three different evaporator coils. And the reason why we had to do that is because of the 15 foot ceiling. I mean, it's, it's, it's a monster ceiling in there. So yeah, there's three evaporator coils, but we have four grills in there. So one of them is a dummy grill. You know, one of them, uh, there's no evaporator coil behind it. It's just we did it to continue the look of the wine cellar to just make it make it look uniform. And so uh, you have your decanting space back there where the glass shelves are. So, I mean, there's LEDs going around the, the case storage at the, uh, at the lower section and then up and through the, the center uh, decanting area space. And then there's also LEDs going around underneath the, the cooling unit location. So we're lighting up those two sections. We weren't able to do any lighting above that because of the sky light. And then also there was just really 
there probably was a way to do it and we could have probably just channeled it into the wood. It's such a beast, this, uh, when you walk into this space, that display opening on the back wall is really the focal point in the feature along with the skylight. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful, amazing job that, that we were able to be a part of. Do you have a space that you want to turn into the focal point of your room to spectacularly show off your wine collection? Send your inquiries through our website at www.vintagecellars.com or call us at 800-876-8789 to learn more.